Libra, welcome to my channel and today we are doing your end of November reading after the Mercury retrograde at last. So Mercury went retrograde on the 31st of October coming down and becoming direct on the 28th of this month. So at last we are out of this retrograde season. Alright, so Libra, today I'm going to do a different kind of spread. I have shuffled and I've taken five oracle cards, three for your love and romance, one for general and one for career. We're going to see the messages there first, followed by three card spread to see what you have goofed up during the Mercury retrograde and what was your blockage and what is the way forward. All right, I'm sorry for that. I just don't like getting colds when I'm doing my readings. So... Libra, the thing is that uh, we, we are going to do a three-card tarot spread. So, all right. So, let's get started first and let's see what's coming towards your love and romance. Libra, you have practice makes perfect. Okay. So, new love, old love, whatever you've done is not enough. You have to know more. You have to learn more. Let's see the next. Tranquility. Okay. So you need some time to relax and, you know, sometimes it's good to indulge. Go for some spa therapy, take a retreat, go for a vacation, okay? And the third, the sun. So you could be dealing with a person who is Leo or has a lot of Leo in the chart, but this definitely, I see a couple here budding to sunflowers with two faces so this could also mean a budding possible relationship which can be very positive <clears throat> this could be uh you know friendly energy too but the thing is that libra to get them to start loving you or to get them to get this relationship sun is a very positive card okay you see things very clearly now your expectations are becoming very clear you know where you stand. You know what is possible. But in order to get that, you need to practice more. You need to learn. So you need to learn maybe there are certain things that, you know, they, they are there in you, but they're not yet perfect. Maybe you don't know how much to say and when to say or when to stop. Maybe sometimes it happens in relationships. It's absolutely normal. But, or maybe this is, you know, this is your second relationship or third relationship and you've made uh, mistakes in the past. So you need to start practicing. You need to know more. Maybe for some of you, it could also mean as small as you need to practice how to react or how much to laugh or how much to hug, how much to kiss. Okay, irrespective male or female, you need to have some practice and tranquility. You have to first enjoy your calm and peace. You cannot be always guided and pushed around by people or you cannot be always motivating yourself to do things because of somebody else. So first you need to take care of yourself. You need some self-care. So maybe that's why the practice makes perfect. Because maybe you are not paying attention to yourself and you're blaming the other person for not noticing you. Maybe your hair is not groomed. Maybe your nails are not groomed. Maybe your your hygiene is not... You need to maintain more hygiene if you want uh, to be with the person that you have eyed. Or you need to be more uh, mellow down in your energy when you are with that person. Maybe that person is very earthy. You know, somebody who is very... Or you need to bring up, bring yourself up to speed because the person you're connecting with is very fiery. So you have to practice, okay, till you become perfect in understanding a person and understanding what they're saying and why they're saying it. Right now, you take things verbatim. As they're saying, you interpret it that way. Sometimes it's not that. Sometimes they say something, but they're meaning something and it's coming from somewhere else. Because that's where your sun, moon, rising comes, right? So you feel something, you say something, and you're doing something. So that's why you need some time for yourself. You need to take some care of yourself. You need to relax first. Learn to breathe, relax. Don't get worked up on every comment. 
funny or insulting. Don't take everything personally because this is a very positive relationship. With the sun here, there's a budding relationship because now you both see each other. Now you both want to grow these things because these are just baby uh, sunflowers. They're just blossoming. They're not yet full grown. So you both want to nurture each other, grow each other or help each other grow. But for that, you need to first take care of yourself and you need to learn how to make the other person grow. But for that, you need to learn to grow yourself. Okay? So Libra, this was in your love. Now let's see what's in your career. Flowers. Again, I see sunflower here. I see roses and daffodils here. So <clears throat> you could be working with flowers or go connect with flowers. Decorate your room, your workspace or wherever Maybe keep some flowers. They'll, they'll, they'll get your mood up, okay? Even at your workplace. You need to be, you know, uh, you need to connect with flowers. Or for some of you, you could be even working as a florist or your, your office could be somewhere near the garden. So just take a walk between work when you get worked up because your work is going fine. Flowers and tranquility means there's something in you. You are worked up regarding something. You're tensed about something. So maybe flowers will help you bring, even if it's a one single flower on your office desk, makes your day, makes you feel better. So connect with flowers, okay? And for your general advice, reach out. Oh my God. So practice, reach out, tranquility. This means, again, the same thing. Tell people, communicate with people. So practice how to communicate effectively. Maybe right now you communicate too much and or you think too much and you don't talk. It all goes on in your mind. In the mind you have killed that person thrice, you have hugged that person thrice, you have maybe kissed that person five times, but when it comes to reaching out, you're not. You're all into yourself. You're like, let them just, let them come first. When they take a step forward towards you, you're like, okay, let them come even nearer. So, no, Libra, this time you have to reach out. You have to open up. You, you, if they are not reaching out to you, you reach out. Find out what's going on with them, okay? No harm in that. You have to be open. So, that's why you have to practice. You have to practice more about connecting with people because there is a very good chance of a new relationship budding, okay? Because the sun is there. So this could mean a new relationship or you're reviving an existing relationship. Even reopening, rekindling an existing, making a relationship very clear and bright and sunny. But it all depends on you, not on the other person. All right. So let's see what happened in the Mercury retrograde. What happened with my Libras? What message for my Libras? The sun again, I don't believe it. This happened with Virgo too. They have the tar and the tar. You have the sun with the sun. So, <laughs> Libra, you could be connecting to a Virgo. Or this means that, yes, this was your blockage, that fresh new start, that moving forward, that breaking the wall or jumping over the wall, crossing the wall and going towards light. You were too much in your mind space. What was your blockage? The emperor, authority. Okay. Could be dealing with an Aries or there could be authority. You did not like, either you couldn't take authority because you felt the other person is much elder to you or more serious than you or more sincere than you or they try to dictate you. So you are not getting your authority. And also emperor also means common sense. Maybe you are not getting that common sense how to go ahead, how to move. But you definitely wanted to. But with the emperor in your blockage, you ended up doing things. Either you came as too impulsive or you came as too forcing. But the right message was not out. That is the reason it again goes back to your practice. Practice Stating your point without being very pushy, okay? Now, your way forward is, oh, my God, Libra, 
This is one of the most in sync reading after Virgo and Cancer. Three of Cups. You want good times. You want to celebrate. You want to go out. You want to have fun. So say it. Don't keep it. Don't dream about it. Say it. Do it. And what you have to do, your way forward. It's again, practice makes perfect. Eight of Pentacles, practice. That is exactly what your message is. You started with practice. You're ending with practice. So Libra, learn more, learn more. Practice more, okay? Patiently focus on one thing at a time. Practice it. Then you will get your authority. Right now, you're grasping for authority. You're grasping for that break. But the sun is here. It's positive. That relationship will work out, can work out, and will work out for good. But to make it work out for good, you have to practice more. You have to learn more. You have to learn more about that person, learn more about yourself. And you are the one who has to take the initiative and reach out. Okay? All right. So, Libra, this was your reading for the end of November. Post the Mercury Retrograde. And I'll see you later with your December readings. And if you're new to my channel, welcome and please do subscribe and hit the like button if you resonated with this and if you are a returning user i would really appreciate if you can press the like button if you like this video and i'll see you later till then libra take care have fun and keep practicing okay bye